Thank you so much. Good morning and welcome to Yawunde in Cameroon. And we are currently present at the Joga Palace Hotel here where the Black Stars have been situated. They are not only here, they are here with Ethiopia who are also housed in this facility for the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations. Well, the Black Stars had their recovery training session yesterday at um, the Amado Ahijo Stadium Annex where 16 players trained without a 11 of the 27 who are currently in camp and uh, coach Milovan Rajevac worked entirely throughout this one hour session with only 16 players. Reasons and explanations were given as to why 11 of the players who started the game against Morocco could not participate in training. The coach decided to rest the players who took part in this game and um, you know train with players who did not participate in the game against Morocco. So we realized that even those who were on the substitutes bench had to train today, including those who did not make an appearance at all. So um, the likes of Pate, Andre Ayu, Jordan, and all the other players who played the game against Morocco um, were rested. And um, hopefully they will be back to full training tomorrow. So as it was yesterday, the training session was held. But one player who is missing from the 28 men were registered for the competition by the Ghana Football Association as Ajax midfielder Kudos Mohamed. The young star is expected to join the Black Stars. And three sports can exclusively confirm that Kudos Mohamed Mohamed is joining the team for the upcoming game against Gabon. Henry Asante Chum, who is the communications director for the GFA, provides further explanation on the situation with Kudus Mohamed. We are expecting Kudus this week. Um, we've, we've held fruitful discussions with, with Ajax and um, we're expecting him this week. Hopefully when he comes, he will integrate with the team and then we can continue our preparation. Well, ahead of the game against Gabon on Friday, a lot of Ghanaians are a bit skeptical after the Black Stars showed an unimpressive performance in that loss to Morocco on Monday. Now, former General Secretary of the Confederation of Africa Football, Anthony Buff, who is also a former vice captain of the senior national team, the Black Stars, has watered down on the criticism on the team. He is not perturbed about what happened on Monday and assures that the team are going to uplift their performance in their next game against Gabon? You know, first match is uh, never easy. Uh, we have to agree it was not the best uh, performance uh, of the Black Stars. And the first half, I think, uh, tactically, we did well. And uh, it was a very tight game. From now on, uh, what is very, very important to be tactically very orientated, to pay attention to details, and uh, to win our next two matches, which are coming up, uh, against uh, Comoros and Gabon or the other way around. Um, so uh, it's very, very important. So uh, let's keep the hope alive and uh, all is not over. We still have, excuse me, we still have two matches where we can get our six points. The Black Stars of Ghana would have another training session today before the mandatory or the official training session tomorrow, which we would have an opportunity to witness for 15 minutes as they prepare against Gabon. Well, Gabon would also be happy as they welcome the return of former Juventus midfielder Mario Lemina and captain Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang to augment their squad ahead of the Black Stars game on Friday at 4 p.m. So we expect the Black Stars to put down a very very better showing and you could see from the faces of the players yesterday that they are eager to make corrections to the mistakes that they made on Monday that resulted in the loss. So this is what is currently happening in Yaoundé. Let's give thanks to Global Wings Travel and Talk who helped us bring myself, Nash, uh, my camera technician and Daniel Nanakwami Yebua who is reporting for Onia to Cameroon to cover this. This is all for this morning from Yaoundé and subsequently we'll be bringing you a lot more.